20 kilos of school shop. Now that is a con. On tonight's episode of Ozfish TV, we're on a bit of a road trip to South Australia, or just over the border past Nelson. I've got a great mate with me, Jason Kennedy, who used to have the show Fishing Trip and now does Murphy's Fishing. He's a passionate surf fishing like myself, and we've always wanted to try and get a dewey off the beach. So that's our mission this weekend. Also got his young fella with us, so it's a bit of a boys weekend away. We have just had our first hit and it is taken off for a six. <laughs> and I have no idea, this could be a ray, this could be a Jew, this could be absolutely anything. Swimming towards me, that's a good sign. I just can't give it any slack. As soon as you give big slack, that hook will pop, especially in the waves. Oh, just realised it was coming in close and didn't want to. This is a... This is the exciting moment when you're surf fishing. It really is. Walking down the water to see what's coming up. So I do sound a bit puffed, but we've had a big day walking up and down sand dunes trying to find the right location. I think it's an undesirable. <laughs> an eagle ray up. It might be an eagle ray. So we might walk out of the wash. <laughs> well, it's the undesirable. But you've got to sort through these to get to the good guys. Really put a bit of hurt on it now. Now that I've identified as a, as a ray, just crank it up and look if it pops, it pops. But none the none the worse. There you go, go on. Oh, this is a big bull. A very big bull. <laughs> no wonder he didn't want to come in. <laughs> I didn't want him to come in. <laughs> so after being plagued by eagle rays, we decided to pack up and move and find another location, maybe try and find some locals and get some local knowledge. It's quite a novelty for Jason and I to be able to drive on the beach, something we really wish we could do in Victoria. <laughs> We're surrounded by cows. <laughs> we've got in front, behind, around the side, we've got cows everywhere. Where's, where's Mick Dundee when you need him? Get out of the way, Dobie! Ten foot of water or anywhere, you know. Well, they're getting plenty like that. Tasty, very tasty. That's amazing. There's tea tonight. I reckon. <laughs> That's great. We just stopped to ask some of the locals some advice on the fishing on the beaches around here, and um, this is what he caught on his surf rod. <laughs> now, how far out did you go to get him, mate? Uh, Probably a K. Yeah, nice. we're only in about uh, 18 foot. Wow, that's a cracker. Yeah, yeah. It's been very tasty. Yeah. What's the um, limit on these? Ah, uh, you allow four per person. Yep. Uh, license. Yep. Um, obviously, you've got two blokes with two licenses. Yep. You can take your eight a day. Beautiful. 
there was obviously a size limit on it, but I could go with one a day. I, I didn't have to measure that one. <laughs> no, no, you definitely don't. No, good on you, mate. No, and, um, and thanks for the advice. Excellent. Thank you. Cheers. Well, we've been up and down sand dunes all day, and finally, we got stuck. Big thank you to the kind passers-by that helped us get out of the sand. We were on our way. After speaking to a few of the locals, we found a nice little beach. It was only blowing about 35 knots, but that's okay. We wanted to tough it out. We'd driven a long way for this. Being a 41 degree day, we didn't mind getting in the water. Driving along this beach, we've driven up and down. Found a beautiful gutter. The only problem is we've got to walk out about 15 metres to get our lines into it. But that's just fine because it is 41 degrees today and being in the water is something I'm not going to mind doing at all. fished a lot of surf beaches in Victoria, quite a lot. I love the 90 mile beach. Coming down here to South Australia, we're just over the border, we're not very far. It's, um, it's quite an experience, these beaches are a completely different animal. It's very, they're a lot different to read. And there's different species of fish here to catch, so we're trying to get the rigs right and the baits right, it's a different code we're going to try and unlock. Jason and I fished the 90 mile all our lives. And we've come down here and we're like, wow, we, uh, we really need to do a bit more research. So JK and I have come up here for a boys weekend away. He's brought his young fella. And it's been a, a long time goal for one of us, or each of us, to catch a mulloway off the beach. We both love surf fishing, we've got a big passion for it. So if either of us can catch one, it's gonna be something really special. It doesn't have to be big, it just has to be a mulloway. So far we've got eagle rays. <laughs> oh, and I caught a little pinky earlier too. That's actually a big grim. That's what we've been getting done. There's been a a million and one bites around the kelp. Look at that. Beautiful big boom. Easily a kilo, a bit over a kilo. That's what I'm talking about. Um, I'll see if he takes. I'm not too sure. I've got the skull dragon through a bit of kelp there, guys. So come with me and we'll see if we can um, survive him, revive him, do whatever we can. But that's a pretty big boom. You should feel the weight of that big boy.
ever want to get a fish to get a wriggle on, just got to squeeze their tail and they'll tell you if they're ready or not. See, I'm squeezing his tail, he's not ready to go yet. So he needs to get his bearings first, get some water through his gills. See if he stays up right. He did do a lot of work coming through the kelp, guys. I lost my sinker. Oh, I'm guessing that's uh, he's so far so good. Snapper on the brim. As I said, the Mickey Del Marco, I always remember Mick, it's a team effort. There's no I in Michael. Oh, sorry, there is. <laughs> well, we've been down here on the surf beach for a few hours. The kelps rolled in. We had nice fancy pulley rigs because we thought we'd do them all last night. Pulley rigs are quite time consuming to do on the beach, especially if you start getting bites. So we've changed over to Paternoster rigs. Now there's a couple of different Paternoster rigs you can do. There's the three-way swivels. I don't like to use them because there's too many things that can go wrong in the water because you're tying three knots per swivel. So basically, here we go. This is just a dropper loop, just the dropper loop Paternoster rig. You got your dropper loop at the bottom, that will hold your sinker. That way you can change the size of your sinker whether the tide's starting to get a bit of side wash or you need to get out a bit further or in a bit closer. So that's why a nice loop on and off, no problem. Now what I do, I'm running about, I'd say about a foot in the old, old scale and I'll pinch the line there and I'll grab another foot. What I'll do is I'll meet the two lines together so they make a loop. And I grab the two top lines and I just make a twist. And I'll twist them around about 10 times, nine to 10 times, until you feel it starting to go a bit tight. And then you open up that loop and you pull the loop you've made through. Get it close, bit of lubrication for obvious reasons. And there's your first dropper loop. Now you can, with that loop you can hook, you hook on and off that loop, or you can cut it and make that longer. Depends on what you sort of, what you want to do as a personal preference. Now I'm running up about another foot. I don't want to go too far because the last thing you want to do is have your hook too far away. And I run another loop, around about the same size. And there we go. I don't know if you can see that. Two dropper loops, around about a foot apart, with a sinker at the bottom. The size hooks that we're using, because we're going for Mulloway off the beach. I'm using a size 6 C-point hook. Now the C-point hooks are extremely sharp and they've got a cutting edge on the tip of the hook either side. It's just like a groove that runs down and it just acts for faster penetration to the side of the jaw of the fish and it does increase the hook up. So the sort of trace we're using, we're using 40 pound and 60 pound leader. Now that's a supple trace from Black Magic. I find it very easy to tie knots with. The sort of sinker we're using is a grapple sinker. What happens with the grapple sinkers is when they hit the sandbank, they obviously roll, the grapple holds them there, and when you bring them in, they fold down. Makes for easy reeling in. There's nothing worse than having a sinker bouncing across, hitting the weed and making it very hard for you to bring into the, into the wash. So these can work really well when there's no side wash. Great thing about loops, you can change your hooks at any stage. If you find that there's brim going, if you find there's mullet or whiting going, you can change it up. So there you go, a dropper loop surf rig. You can make it in under five minutes and get straight back out of the water. Wow. Now this is what we came here for. This is a prize catch anywhere in the anywhere in the world. In Australia, we're in South Australia at the moment. Now I know to the South Australian viewers, these might just seem like a tuna sandwich, but to us Victorians, 
off the surf beach. This is the golden ticket out of the Willy Wonka chocolate factory, let me tell you. And this is what we came here for. And myself and JK have battled, and I mean battled, through heavy winds, through bad tides, through getting the car bogged. And this fish right here, folks, has made it all worth it. A mull away off the surf. This is something very special to my own heart and many other surf fishermen out there. It's only a soapy, but I don't care. It's a mull away. Oh, this little soapy's going back. It's been a very great privilege for myself to catch this. I'll tell you what, I'm one very happy man. Look at the colours on this thing, it's beautiful. That's what we came here for, and that's what we got. Back you go. There we go, she's starting to stay upright. Off she goes. Wow, what a great feeling. <laughs> I think I like this place just a little bit. here on a fantastic day in Western Port. And it's such a good day. It's the middle of the week, early spring, and the car park's full of boats, which means a lot of people took the day off work. So obviously, being so flat and clear, I've come out for my favorite species in Western Port, well, one of, and that's squid. Now, the reason I'm coming out today is because I'm trying out a few different jigs from Black Magic. They've got a new range. I mean, they've already got a great range of squid jigs, but they've bought out some new colors. And one's a redhead. And if people know me, know I'm a bit of a fan of the old redhead. And that's it there. So, I'm gonna try and just catch a couple of squid. And hopefully, we've got some nice fresh bait. Let's see if I can get one on my first cast. Ah. Make sure you set your drag. Oh, I thought I was on one. <laughs> I'm into the weed. All right, so that was a fail on the first cast as usual. I always try and get that live hook up first cast. It'll happen one day. I should have kept that rolling because on my second cast, I caught one. <laughs> Unreal. I knew I should have kept the camera rolling. Said about cameraman, I said, nah, cut, I've got to heap of weed on. Threw, threw it out again, and lo and behold, the redhead jig worked on the second cast. There we go, look at that. We've been out here all of one minute. Western Port's finest bait, right there. <laughs> Smiles all around. Okay, got to keep this guy in the shade. Second cut. Alright, keep the camera rolling. <laughs> Let's see if I can get another one straight up. Because um, that might mean there's a few around or I was just very, very lucky. Well, Black Magic, you got a big tick of approval from me with these uh, squid jigs, mate. Because these are uh, second cast I've got a squid, so you can't. Can't complain about that. 
sitting in about 4.5 metres of water. The tide's dead low and it's just started to come in. Thought I was on again, I've got the weed. <laughs> Got a good mate on board with me today, Tim McManus. He usually comes squid fishing with me when we do pier hops around Port Phillip. But today I said, Tim, we're going fishing, mate, out in the boat. Not want to come up this guy. Whoa. I just saw him hit it just at the bottom of the boat there. And he um, he's got a bit of fight in him, this guy. Far out. He's got both candles wrapped around this jig. He's a fair size squid. That's probably why he uh, Put up a good fight. <laughs> yes. Yeah, it's not a bad calamari. It's just upsized from the other one we caught earlier. Smack that straight under the boat. We've got ink everywhere. But on me for once. There you go, mate. <sighs> That's good. You're gonna have to get that monster out, mate, because that's an yeah. absolute beast. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Tim, that is you. Have a look at that. That's on the, that's on the pink one. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's a kilo and a half. That's good. My friend. Feed the family tonight. <laughs> Feed your neighbours as well. <laughs> Good work, mate.